Praise the Lord. Um, we will not take the presence of um, our royal fathers for granted. In this meeting, we are privileged to have His Royal Highness, the Agwambaju. You are welcome, sir. And His lovely Queen. You are welcome, sir. You're welcome, ma'am. Tonight is the last day in the year 2022. Somebody is not clapping. That you are alive and you can see today. It's a great day in my life. And it's a great day in your own life too. Somebody shout hallelujah. I am here to just do two things right now. Um, I will want to know how many of us have our tithes here. If you have your tithes here, can you come up right here? Those of you with your offerings, stand up with your offerings wherever you are. The last offering in throne room here in the year 2022, it must be heavy because it's the end of the year. You know, you have piled it from January to February and from March to April, from May to June, July to August, August to September, September to October, and November to December. You kept it for 12 months. Come on, get it right. Stand up and get your offerings ready. If you have your tithes, come right here. You have the privilege to stand right here. If you have your tithes, come right here. If you have your tithes, come to me here, because I will pray with you here. If you have your offerings, stand up with them where you are. Come right up here if you have your tithes. You know, today I got to know that, come right here, that even the Pharisee boasted that he gave his tithes. A Pharisee, in, in the book of Luke chapter 18, verse 12, he said, and I also give my tithe regularly over everything I possess. Oh my God, a Pharisee boasting. Can you just wave those tight onto the Lord tonight and just tell the Lord, this is my tight. In this last day of December, let your glory sh shine over my tight. Let your light shine over my tight. My Father, these ones have stand before you today. They are standing, O oh God, with their tights. They want tent of what you have given them to give you glory and praise. Lord, as you close the gates of this year, close everything that has troubled their lives and visit them afresh. And as they give back to you, Lord, give them more in abundance. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Please, can the ushers come and take the tithe first? We are going to pray over the offerings. Hold on, Heavenly Voices, hold on. As you give your tithes, go back and get your offerings ready. Your offerings for December. As you give your tithes, go back and get your offerings ready. Shall we pray over our offerings? Can, just, can you just wave them unto the Lord and tell the Lord, I just thank you. With these offerings, I want to thank you from January to February, March to April. Just thank the Lord. From the beginning of 2022 till the end, the Lord has been good. That you are strong and alive. That you are healthy, that you can eat, that you can travel, that you can drive. That you can own a car, that, can, that you can be healed, that you can walk, that you can talk. Oh, that you are strong, that you can wear new clothes, you can build a house, you can be delivered. So many spectacular miracles. Lord, as we wave these offerings unto you, we wave it with thanksgiving. My Father, take this thanksgiving from our hands and bless each and every hand, oh God, that is lifted before you. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. The ushers will pass uh, 
the bas baskets around as you drop your offerings. Uh, please, if you have any support for the retreat, can you meet the administrator in the office and give us support so it can help us to manage the retreat properly. You can give food, you can give uh, monies, and you can give food ingredients. If you have anything you need to give, please give. If you can give part of your Christmas goodies, you can bring it along. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my soul and I'm not free. Everybody say, because of Jesus, every day I shall Come on, double the double the blessings. Ah, eh, 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 eh,
There is no one like him. If not for him, we will not be here today. If not for him, we will not be among the living ones. He has kept that covenant with us. He has showed us mercy. Go ahead and give him praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. People of God, just go ahead one more time and say, Father, thank you for today. Thank you because I'm alive. It is only the hand of God that can do it. It is only a bube, only a bube that can do it. Just go ahead and say, Father, thank you. We give you glory. We exalt you. We magnify your name. You alone is worthy to be praised. Go ahead, go ahead. Give him praise, magnify the name of the Lord. Give him praise and exalt his name. There is no one like him. There is no one like our God. There is no one like our God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. We give you praise. We magnify your name. We exalt you. We exalt you. You would call the king of glory. You are called the ancient of days. The glory of Zion. The glory of Zion. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can you please take your seat? Thank you, Lord. To appreciate God's servant, our Father in the Lord, has given me this great opportunity. Tonight, I want to let us know that the year 2023 is a year of sound. Just as our Father in the Lord has dished out to us during the retreat, it is the year of sound. And for you and I to survive the year 2023, we must walk according to the ordinance of the sound of the Most High. We must walk according to the sound of God. None of us here is permitted to walk outside the sound of God. Lift up your right hand wherever you are. Can you say, Heavenly Father, today in the name of Jesus, I need your help to help me walk according to your sound. Comfort 2023. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Go ahead and pray it. Because 2023, each one of us shall make a sound. As we hear the right sound of Yahweh, we shall make that sound. Go ahead and talk to him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hear this. Our Father and the Lord went further to tell us that God is making fathers in the seasons to come. Praise God. Hallelujah. And for you and I to qualify as one of those fathers, it is our works that will speak. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor, say my neighbor, it is your work that will speak for you next year. It is your work that will speak for you next year. Whatever you do next year, we speak whether good or bad. Hear this. And he sounded it again. He said, next year, we must be careful before we fly out, before you step out, before you contribute to whatsoever you hear. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. So the year 2023 is the year of the Lord in Zion. Can we see the book of Act? The book of Act. Sean Mame will rise to pray. The book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 11 to 17. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Can you don't go down to 17? Sorry, 17. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And God of these people of Israel chose our fathers and exalted the people with the dwelling as strangers in the land of Egypt. Hear me, people of God. It means that next year, 
part of the things our father told us, we shall conquer nations. I say we shall conquer nations. You are not shouting amen. Can we be on our feet, everyone? Tonight is a serious night. Be on your feet wherever you are. Can you lift up your voice and say, Father, by your mercy, I will conquer nation. Come for 2023. By your mercy, I will conquer nation, sir. And hear me. He said, if you can't conquer a nation, you are not qualified to be a father. If you cannot conquer a nation, you are not qualified to be called a ruler. Oh, my God. Can somebody hear me tonight? Can somebody hear me tonight? Say, Father, I need your wisdom. I need your grace to conquer nations. And he made them fathers in a strange land. He made them fathers in a strange land. Let me digress a little. In the book of Daniel chapter 6, the Bible said, even the man called Daniel was a man of excellence. Praise God. That all the government that came, even in the land of Babylon, they never functioned without the tribute or the contribution of Daniel. I would like you to lift up your voice and pray tonight and say, Father, today in the name of Jesus, comfort 2020. Shall be relevant, be relevant to the government of my nation. I will be relevant to my community. I will be relevant in the society. Anywhere I found myself, I will be relevant. I want to hear you pray. I want to hear you pray. This is your last prayer. Or, oh, if I'm not mistaken, a major prayer that you are praying before you see the 20, 23. So lift up your voice and pray. Be serious about it. Because you are here for an encounter tonight. Shatala bagadu sutalaba. Can you go ahead and talk to the Lord? Can you go ahead and talk to him? Go ahead and say, Father, announce the work of my hands. Announce the works of my hands. Anywhere I enter in 2023, I will be recognized because the year 2023 is my year. I will never be left behind. Uh. I will never be left behind. Uh. Are you a priest? Are you a pastor? Go ahead and pray and say, Father, in the year 2023, ah, I shall cause revival. We are not praying, you know. I'm not hearing our voices. I want you to pray tonight. Even those watching across the globe, wherever you are, Make sure you are standing uh, and you are connecting uh, to these prayer points tonight. Uh, that wherever you are, darkness have no power. Darkness have no authority. You are the light in the darkness. Ah, God is in the business of choosing men. God is in the business of choosing men. So people of God, don't look down on anyone by your side tonight. You don't know what will happen after tonight. Tell God, say, my father, come for 2023. I shall reign me and my house. I shall reign with the work that you have deposited in my hands to do. I will reign with that worker. Go ahead and talk to him. Le Catalabagado Shata. Le Pregado Satalaba. Go ahead and say, Father, me and my house, we are covered with your federal comfort 2023. Me and my house, we are covered with your glory. Your glory, Ebube. Your glory. Your glory. We are covered with your glory. Comfort 2023. 2023 shall do me well. Go ahead. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, somebody shout amen. Lastly, can we see the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 1, verse 6, as I begin to round up tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Can somebody shout Ebube? Somebody shout Ebube! Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory, Lord. 
We give you glory, Lord. We magnify your name. Seeing it is a righteous thing for God to recompense your tribulations to them, to them that have troubled you. People of God, I don't know what is that that have troubled you or this why. But I just am so glad to announce to you that this night is the last night of that situation. This night is the last night of that circumstances. Sir. This night is the last night of that problem. Sir. Tonight, I see cancers running away from this place. Sir. Tonight, I see cancer of the breast sir, running away from this place. Sir. Tonight, I see leprosy sir, getting out of this place. Sir. Tonight, I see demons sir, flying out of the body of people tonight. Can you go ahead over the challenge, over the situation, over the challenge, and over the problem? Begin to wave your hands to the glory of the Lord. I say wave your hands to the glory of the Lord. I say wave your hands, sir. I see blind man, that eye being clear now. Jesus is doing something in the house. I said Jesus is doing something in the house. Jesus is doing something in the house. You, uh, you cannot just come here and go back the way you came. Uh. You can appear to Zion uh, and leave Zion without a torch. Uh. Every challenge, uh, every problem uh, must disappear. I hear the Lord say that court case is over. I hear the Lord say that court case is over. I say I hear the Lord say that court case is over. You have won the battle. Don't you never say never. I have won the battle. Ah, you are not. I'm not sure you understand what I'm saying tonight. I said, turn to somebody by your side. Say, my neighbor, look at me. I have won the battle. 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 Somebody shot fire. Somebody shot fire! Somebody shot fire! Finally, and our father told us during the week, the retreat, the glory men see today in your life, the one that is coming tomorrow shall supersede that which they do. By the time they will see you, they will be asking, is this Dr. Fidelis? Come on, somebody don't understand what I'm saying. By the time they will see you, they will be asking, is this Pastor Booker? Can you say, my father, my father, clothe me with your glory for 2022. By the time, by the time they will see me, ah, they will ask, is this Pastor Austin coming? Because uh, there will be the glory, the presence of Yahweh, the presence of Yahweh, the presence of Yahweh, the presence of Yahweh, we take over, we take over, we take over in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And he says something again. We must go back and activate our angels and walk with them according to the wills and the directions and the order they give to us. Praise God. Just go ahead and wave your hands. Wave your hands. Wave your hands. It is only the hand of God that can bring us to us far. Many thought we will not see this day, especially in Kaduna State. We have never lost our grounds, despite whatsoever that is happening. We are still standing. We are still standing. Even in the nations of the earth, in Nigeria, it is only the hand of God that can do this. Choir, can you please go ahead and raise that song for us? Sorry, sorry. The Lord just whispered to me something. Can you take your seat? Take your seat. Take your seat. Lay your hands on your two legs. Say, Father, my legs will not take me to where I will die. It's a serious prayer point wherever you are. Wherever you are, pray that prayer. My legs, my legs, even if that flight will crash because of my presence in that flight, it will not crash. 
Ah, no, any unwanted bullet will catch up with my own. My legs will not take me to where I will die. The elections is coming. So many things will be happening. Tell God that today, my house, my grandchildren, my daughter-in-law, my son-in-law, anywhere we enter, we will be the one to direct us. You will be the one to direct our path. My two legs will not take me to where I will die. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer, pray it as you jump on your feet, as you celebrate the name of the Lord. Jump on your feet, everyone. Jump on your feet, everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Hear this. This is just a tip of what God is about to do tonight. Praise God. I would like you to open your heart, open your spirit. Let the channels of your spirit be open. Connect to the heavens tonight. Praise God. Connect to the heavens tonight. Because when the time comes, you will hear them as they will be crying and getting out of your life. And there are people here, when the prophecies will start to round about, uh, ah, 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 many of you here, new job, husband, many things will be happening. I'm not hearing somebody shouting glory. I'm not hearing somebody shouting glory. I'm not hearing somebody shouting glory. Go ahead. <laughs>
worship you.
the Lord will reign in our lives and we shall fulfill our destinies in the name of Jesus. Listen, God is asking us to do a new thing in this his house. And God has prepared a servant that will take that next phase. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 30 verse 16, Say, bring your offering to the house of the Lord. It shall be a remembrance for your children, for the tent of the Lord to be built and kept. If you are alive tonight, welcome in the person of Apostle Stansford, Tarsier, to launch out the throne room crowdfunding in the next phase of the ministry. Give the Lord a clap offering as you will hear new things and what the Lord is about to do in this ministry. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. I think um, we need to we need to um, add more energy to that shout. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody who is happy that he has seen the end of 2022. Shout a loud hallelujah. Somebody who is happy that he or she is crossing over because by your presence here today, it means that you will cross over. Somebody who is here and knows that he or she we cross over to 2023. Can you shout the loudest hallelujah? The glory of 2023 shall be greater than the glory of 2022. Can we shout amen? Hallelujah. Amen. I'm here this evening for a singular purpose. And that is to launch the monthly fundraising pledge form initiative, which is called the crowdfunding initiative of this ministry. This ministry will require millions and millions of naira to run this ministry on a monthly basis. And God gave us the wisdom and our Father in the Lord has permitted us to launch this initiative tonight. And the initiative, can we give a clap offering unto the Lord? This initiative is simple. Very simple. I believe we all have this pledge form. We all have this form with us. If you have it, can you wave it? If you have it, just wave. We don't have the forms in the galleries. Ushers, please go to the galleries. Nobody in the galleries have these forms. Can you wave it again? Can you wave it again? Please go to the galleries, to the left and the right galleries. The people don't have the forms. So the idea is that everybody will be given a certain amount of money to the ministry every month. The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 3, For I testify that according to their ability and beyond their ability, they gave voluntarily. Some of us will be given according to our abilities. Others will be given beyond our abilities. As your faith can lead you, give. And the giving is on a monthly basis. If you look at that form, the least amount you can give a month is 3,000 naira. It's, if 3,000 naira is what you can give, you take 3,000 naira. We also have 5,000 naira. Then we have 10,000 naira. We have 20,000. We have 50. We have 100,000. And we have 250,000 and above. So, you give according to your ability or you give beyond your ability. 
either of these givings is acceptable unto the Lord. Can we say amen? amen. To fill the form is simple. There are only four informations that we need. The first one is your name, your full names. Just put it down. Then the second is the city where you live or the tower. If you're a throne room trust ministry member, you have a tower where you fellowship. You just put your tower name there or the city. If you're not a throne room member, you just put the city where you live. Then the next, it's your mobile phone number. We intend to send you messages. We intend to send you text messages. We intend to text to send you WhatsApp messages all the time, regularly, to encourage you. We intend to do that on a regular basis. We intend to thank you for giving to the ministry on regular basis as well. Then the next information, if you have, is your email address. It's your email address. There is so much information that will be reaching out to you from this ministry. And some of them will be sent by email. Some of them will be sent by email. So if you have an email address, you also give us your email address. At the bottom of the form, you can see the account in Naira. For our international delegates and those who are overseas, the account details for the US dollars and domiciliary account will be up on the screen as I speak. So the media will put it up on the screen. So you convert it, whatever you're comfortable with or what is beyond your ability, please go ahead and give. So you fill these forms in duplicate. You fill these forms in duplicate. The first part, one part, you submit it back to the ushers in the next 10 minutes. As the, as, the, as the service is going on, you submit it back to the ushers. Then the second part, you fill it, but you keep it with yourself. It will be a reminder to you that you have made a pledge to give voluntarily to this ministry perpetually. We are talking of in perpetuity. It's not like you're giving for one month and you, you stop. No, you give continuously. That's the whole plan. And for instance, if you decide to give 10,000 Naira and you want to give for the whole one year at once, you can do that. That means that you want to give 120,000 for the whole one year. Just fill the 10,000 and take it and transfer the 120,000 Naira to the account. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the account is up on the screen there. The uh, USD account. Praise the Lord. The domiciliary account is up there on the screen. So please, can we stand up and pray over this? Let's just stand up. Can we be upstanding with our forms? Let's be upstanding. Can we be upstanding, please? Can we say Heavenly Father? Can we say Heavenly Father? In the name of Jesus, I thank you for the privilege of giving to this commission, even Throne Room Trust Ministries. My Heavenly Father, I beg of you that you help me to give, to give, to sustain the work, even the work of your kingdom in the Throne Room Trust Ministries. Lord, help me to give beyond my abilities. Help me to give beyond my ability. Help me to exercise faith in this giving. And help me, oh God, to be dedicated, to be conscientious in this giving. Help me, my Father, to prioritize this giving on a monthly basis. Help me, my God. Holy Spirit, Always bring to my remembrance this pledge which I make this day in Jesus' name. Lord, as I give, Lord, as I give, remember to leave a blessing behind for me. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed.
Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout the loudest hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ooh. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. I'm not hearing you shout hallelujah. I say praise the Lord. Has the Lord been faithful all through 2022? I say, has the Lord been faithful all through 2022? If you are a witness to that, can you just wave to the Lord? The Lord indeed has been faithful. He has kept us. He has done all that he has promised. Hallelujah. And 2023, he has promised to do more. Do you believe it? If you believe it, can you shout a louder amen? So I want you to rise on your feet tonight and just lift those hands to the heavens and say, Father, here am I before your throne. Do that which you have spoken. Can you rise on your feet? Baba my ma gane nanang Yesu my jintasani Munje munde me wakarswa Agure almasi Jesus, my darling, my Kamalsa, my Finaso, Finaso, say, Jesus. Can we sing it together? My kawoka fara neshi ya kisutu 
Can we say the last stanza? Ama da da ga da ba su da che su mu se mu mu ne me su mu ke su mu bring ye se ye su before I come up. Those who give me this mic, don't give me a mic you start setting when I'm up. It's just the wrong thing to do. If you are alive here tonight by God's grace, can you raise your hand and shout hallelujah. <laughs> can you turn around and Shake your neighbor, congratulate them. Congratulations. We are alive. We have seen the last day of every evil thing that can happen to us. Just congratulate somebody. 
Jesus bless you. Congratulate somebody. Thank you. Can you tell him thank you? Can you tell him thank you? Can you tell him thank you? Come on, let's give him a big clap offering, somebody. Let's give him praise. You may be seated, please. Please make all the changes you need to make there. I had somebody who was playing the piano and it was flowing very well. And suddenly tonight you retired him. I don't know for what reasons. I don't know whether you want to confuse the signal. But can we give God a constant altar? There are basic things you cannot change overnight. Except if the person is tired. If the person told you, I am indisposed, let him go. But if his spirit is still alive and he still wants to worship the Lord. Allow him worship the Lord. Tonight get ready to take a dance to the Lord. Let's give him glory. Because... Everything this year stole from you. I have heard of the Lord. Next year we restore it back to you sevenfold. So get ready to enter 
to the coming year dancing with laughter. The depression is over with this year. It's not I hope so. I am talking from the abundance of the visions I've seen and it will dictate the kind of prayer we are going to pray. How many of you have received your communion today? I mean, you have the elements. The holy sacraments are with you, both the blood and the flesh. They gave you plus a servant. Protect it well. There should be no accidents. So if you have to put it by the side where your neighbor cannot climb over, put it there. Because we are going to very soon enter into that realm. <laughs> you are going to transfer every bad luck this year to the Lord Jesus Christ. For this reason was the Son of God manifested that he might destroy every work of the devil. The Bible says he hung on the tree so that he can take away our iniquities. Some of you, quite a number of you, Kausa. <laughs> that scripture says, come unto me. And that song says the same thing. All you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And I said, today, you are going to exchange the stress of this year with the rest of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you will tell God, God, tonight, remove the burdens from my shoulder. I cannot carry it. Today as I eat this communion and I share your life with you, let every curse, every darkness, every cloud, every shade fall off my body. Pray that prayer now. Tell the Lord, let every curse, every worry, every anxiety, as I eat of this flesh. Because tonight, we are going to finish earlier than we used to finish. We won't get up to one o'clock. Normally, we'll go for the first full hour worshiping. But tonight, we won't finish the full hour. Tell him tonight. I want you to lift away that body. Lift it away. Lift it away. In Jesus' name. Just get ready for what is going to happen. Has everybody gotten, if you have not gotten the flesh, and by the way, I want you to listen. That flesh is unleavened bread. It's not leavened. We didn't buy the bread from the market. It was made by prayer in our ovens here in throne room and prepared specially for this meeting. So it is a holy sacrament unto the Lord. It will taste different from what you normally eat. But I want you to hold it sacred unto yourself. If they, you have not received the flesh, that means if they have not given you and you have taken one, can you wave unto the Lord? Let's see you. If you have not, if they have not given you the blood, you don't have the cup, 
of the blood. Can you wave? Let us see you. Wave unto the Lord. Aha, uh -huh, there are quite a number of people there. Especially on my left side here. Can those sharing their elements go down to them there? So it's not yet over for you. Now, while they are doing this, I want to do two quick things. I want to thank every member of the Throne Room Trust Ministries for celebrating with me my 60th birthday. And suddenly I realized that there were many more hands from all over the country and outside who did everything possible to make that day a memorial and one of the brightest and most beautiful days. Up to now in town, you will see my pictures all over the place. I want to thank every one of you who came here to honor us, who made a sacrifice, who brought a gift. The kings, the rulers, the military, there were seven generals, some of which are here tonight again. There were retired generals, there were elders of southern Kaduna, and some of them spoke. There were others that were built to speak, but couldn't speak because of time. I want to thank all those who came from across the globe, around the countries in Africa, just to enjoy that moment with me. The Lord will crown you with many glories and many years ahead. I didn't hear somebody say, Amen. I want to bless all workers of the throne room. This year, that's why they are doing mass fundraising. Can we give our hand, put our hands together for all the workers of the throne room? For your steadfastness and for keeping the altar alive. And keeping hope, even when it looked hopeless. I want to say the Lord will raise a remembrance for you and your families. All the days of your life. You will enjoy the fruit of walking on the altar. I didn't hear somebody say amen. Those of you tending our... Our guest houses, you had the largest number of visitors this year than you have ever had. And sometimes some of them left disappointed because your hands were fewer. And there was a day for 24 hours they didn't have water. They didn't take their bath. And they still came in for the meetings. Yes, some of them were not too excited about it. But they understood the pressure. And we gave them our word that the blackness of this year remains with this year forever. That next year will be much more, more beautiful for us. But I want to thank you for enduring whatever anger and anguish these people transferred to you sometimes. Some of you, it confused you. You didn't know what to do again. We are a work in progress. God is still perfecting his work in the throne room. But I want us to put our hands together for our guest house. It's the end of year and I want to appreciate our hospital. They have had to make so much sacrifices day and night, especially during crisis. Let's put our hands together for our doctors, our nurses, and paramedical staff. Everybody stand up, let's bless the Lord.
please be sensitive because tonight I am hypersensitive. When you disconnect me, I don't know how to reconnect. Let your eyes be on me at all times. So when I say stop, I can tell you stop by first stanza. When I raise a song, I know why I'm raising it. I'm not raising it for entertainment. Please, let's be sensitive and allow the Holy Spirit to have his way tonight. Listen. Two thousand and twenty-three. Number three is the number of his resurrection. Number two is the number of completeness, of agreement, and of government. That means God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. They are going to join hands to visit the foundations of the earth. Anything that is not correct in your life will be corrected. How many of you are ready for signs and wonders in this coming season? Everything and the Messiah in that number three will rise up and begin to mark and place his blood upon the lives of people and the dead will begin to rise again. Those who were hungry will begin to find a vineyard full of food. Food they never worked for. It's going to be a year of strange things. You won't beg for a thing. The thing will find you and promote you. Those who rejected your promotion will come back and say, come, can you come back to your work? And many of you must come back and share your testimonies. But tonight, while you are yet standing, any humiliation that is facing you in the face, I release the spirit of life in Christ Jesus to lift away that veil from your life. And by the blood of the risen Christ, I break the spiritual curse behind it. In the name of Jesus Christ. I didn't hear somebody shout a thunderous amen. Can you bow your head for a moment and tell the Lord, remember me. I want you, as you visit the foundations of the earth, I want you to visit the issues of my life. Issues of my life. The issues of my life. <laughs> now, I want you to pray a second prayer item now. Can you raise your right hand? Can you say tonight? Before I eat of your flesh. Set up the government of heaven over my life. And in my father's house. Let me only be judged by the blood of Jesus. The sacrifice that speaks for me always. Lord, you will understand me. Man will not understand me. You will understand my ways. My brothers and uncles may not understand me. I would rather fall into your hands than fall into the hands of man. Today, set your blood before me and the thrones of your judgment before me to take over my rising from now as I enter 2023 and to order a new way for my life. And open new wells of blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you ask God to set up a government that supervises your movement. Your going out in the coming year. Just open your mouth and pray. That's why I'm taking the mic very early. In Jesus name. Amen. I want you to be seated. Carry your Bible and paper. What will you want God to enter into the deep to pull out for you? Write it down. And I'm going to give you some minutes while I do another thing, another, another prayer. I'm going to give you some minutes to think about it. 
what it's missing that when the Lord sets his throne over your house uh -uh, for a whole country or a city the capital of a country called Jericho the land was beautiful but there was dead everywhere the water carried the mysteries of death all they desired was that the Lord would go into the deep and heal that water. And the water was healed. For another group of people, they lost their axe. The axe fell into the river and went down. And the, the prophet came. And they said, we lost this thing. Oh. Look, that was a symbol of their strength. They needed that axe. And the prophet prayed over and threw something into the water. And the axe floated. Didn't it float? I hear the Lord say. Something is going to float again in your life. To put a crown on your head. Oh tonight. If you believe miracles will happen to you next year. Say amen to this prayer. Because there are people here that have been wandering, going round and round in cycles. Baba says, those cycles you have seen for 10 years, you won't see them this January. God is not talking about the whole of next year. From January, miracles will start happening. Before I go too far, let me allow you to do that. But tonight, God is taking us into a new season, even as a ministry. This year, we lost a few of our leaders. Some of them were elders. Only a few were young. And the youngest was about 59 years old. We lost Mrs. Arwa. And then just a few days ago, we lost a very old elder, Baba Honoja, in the plateau, a former Air Force officer. Already by the virtue of years, the body was becoming too heavy for him to carry around. And God decided to give him rest a few days ago. And then we lost our tower coordinators, for Benue and the former tower coordinator for River State. We lost a few people this year. But the testimonies we have far outweigh the losses. I'm not going to get into that. But I want to set the records straight tonight. And to tell the Lord to God be all day. Somebody say glory. In throne room we hardly lose people. So the day we lose one. <laughs> we stay for years there are no losses. So the day we lose one we say Lord what have we done. But none of us will live forever. There is an appointed time that we all must return back home. And we must get ready. There is a time for everything. A time to be born and a time to die. Listen. If you can connect it, connect it. What acts have you lost? What thing that gives you strength have you lost this year? You will tell God to enter into that deep. I told you he's setting thrones. I'm going to read that in a moment. And because we lost Mrs. Arua, our board of our theological college began to fall apart. Over the years, we had lost a few board members. Professor Guamna of Narasawa State University, formerly of Unijos, went home to Bishop 
of our governing council for the our theological college. We lost quite a number of people over the years that we didn't replace. All the board members who started this ministry, because they were already elders when the ministry started 30 years ago, three quarters of them have gone home to be with the Lord. From General Dogo Yaru, who also went to be with the Lord, to Baba, Baba L.C. Ibe, to Baba Soladoye, who was our first board chairman, Emmanuel Soladoye. All of this on this last day, as we close a chapter, I raise a remembrance for them. But today we want to start a theme that will start the resurrection of the dead. That we relight the lights of this ministry so that the work does not stop because a phase is over. We want to raise a new group of leaders that will take us to the next phase of the work of this ministry. Already we had, we had started a restructuring. The whole of Throne Room Nigeria was divided into four zones. And they were the plateau zone that covered part of northeast and part of plateau and Nasarawa, I mean, and Bauchi areas. Then we had the Nasarawa zone that covered Benue, Taraba, and Nasarawa state, led by Pastor Asuku. I'm sure they have been introduced earlier today, most likely, because they introduce them normally in programs. Then we have the Kaduna zone that was led by our speaker who did very well. Let's put our hands together for him. Pastor Austin Ezekiel is our host zonal pastor or zonal presiding pastor. We call them presiding pastors. Then we have the FCT, the capital itself, manned by a general uh, known as Sambatuxin. He mans the FCT. And when they came in, the work prospered. Now, I'm about to make an announcement. Since we opened the zone, the ministry has grown in leaps and bounds. That was about two years ago, a year and a half ago, actually a year and a half ago, in leap and bounds. From this zone, we have about 30 towers, new towers, new branches opened in Kaduna State alone, 30, within this short time. In the Plateau, we have about 17 across the three states, opened newly, all of them new. When I say open, they have been inaugurated. They have several others that are coming up to be opened in the coming year. In Nasarawa State, we have about 11 or so, or is it, uh, what do you call them now? The FCC, one of them. Nasarawa is seven, FCT is 11. And today, I want to announce that we are opening one more zone in the coming year. It will be the Port Harcourt zone. Or the south-south stroke, southeast zone with headquarters in Port Harcourt. And the pioneering pastor who is going to preside and open up that zone is no other person but the one that preached here today. Pastor Ezekiel Austin is being moved from Kaduna State to open up a fifth zone for us. So the only one, and I want Pastor Austin to please come out so that I don't waste time. Come out quickly. Because I'm going to release you right now. I'm doing this tonight to pass a decree into your life. That as the father sees me anoint him. God will anoint for you new territories. New additions will come to your life. 
Now, we are talking about zone. We are not talking about towers. We are not talking about individual groups. We already have towers there. So, we are starting a new kingdom there. And they will spread. All through the east. And through the south-south. And it's going to be the pioneering, presiding. What we call apostle. But because he's not an apostle yet. He is called presiding pastor. Gaya, can you get me the oil here? Let me just release him unto the Lord. Listen. I know Kaduna State people will be happy to hear this. And his our leaders will be happy to hear this. Because Kaduna scored the highest in raising 27 new branches in one year that were inaugurated. And they have 30 budding branches that are waiting to be inaugurated. 30. But they raised 27. I've decided that as my birthday memorial, I will give him a fairly used car as a gift. So he is going to Portacot with a car. So that you know that hard work, diligence pays. We have donated vehicles outside. And let me tell you something. He's not going to come back to the headquarters empty-handed. After a few years of labor there, I am sure he's coming back with two more cars. If you wish him well, shout amen. So, 1st of January 2023, Pastor Austin will be riding a new addition into his family. A car. What a beautiful way to start a new year. And let me tell you, he didn't know anything about it until, was it this afternoon or yesterday night, when I was meeting with the zonal pastors and we were taking a report for the year. I had heard the Lord say, the one that made, I don't tell the pastors what I will do. So that there is no unnecessary competition. That I'm giving a car today does not mean I will give a car next year. It might be another thing. It might be a, a helicopter. Look at this generation. Can you rise up on your feet? We'll take a song for the growth of the throne room. multiplied to 30 
Today, I anoint him unto you for blessing. That from now, in blessing, you will bless him. His family will prosper. His generation shall build kingdoms like him. Nothing will fail in his life. Today, by this oil, I ask that you remove the old cloak. Put a new garment over him. And hand over the gospel into his hands. To break new grounds in the south, south and south east. Therefore, I release you against every serpent and scorpion. Any serpent that sees you will die. Any scorpion that rises against you, fire will fall from heaven and roast them up in Jesus' name. I sanctify you into the will of God to establish for God a kingdom in the south, south and the southeast. A kingdom that will grow overseas and will never fail. Father, take him now and do greater exploits by him. I cover you in the blood of Jesus as you go for your new assignment. And I release you to prosper. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. In Jesus' name we pray. clothe you now with the clothing of heaven the Lord go before you and make the crooked path straight Amen. the Lord makes his face to shine upon you and to prosper you wherever you enter yea wherever the sole of you of your feet will step upon the grounds will open up a thousand fold unto you and their blessings will follow you everywhere a generation shall be named by you thank you holy father Father, as I bless him, I bless all the other zonal pastors. And I ask that in the coming year, we will do greater exploits as a ministry. Amen. And you will take glory for that. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The people say, Amen. Amen. You may rise up. Congratulations. It is well with you. Thank you, Father. You have done great things. You have done great things. You have done great things. Bless your holy. Cycle gift to the leader of the Cumbery field as a gift to him as a person, a brand new one, so that he can be able to go around the villages without much stress. All of these people can collect their gifts tomorrow morning. I have asked God to give me strength. Marking my 60th birthday from my own pocket by his grace, according to his supply, and those of you who will stand with me, 
I'll want to give 30 students of Southern Kaduna. It doesn't matter whether you are indigent or not. 30 to 60 students scholarship to their schools. So next year, we are going to reactivate the ministry scholarship scheme. And they are going to start interviewing and looking for people that really have that need. We have helped hundreds of students to go through university from this place. And I ask God concerning my birthday, if he will give me enough strength, let him make him eat 60 because it's 60 years. Or otherwise, let him start from 30 to 60. I believe we will have enough funds to keep rotating and going on for between 30 and 60 students from secondary school to university. So we are believing God to help us do that miracle. Can somebody say amen? amen. Is that good news for Southern Kaduna people? Let's put our hands together for Jesus. I want to invite the following people to come forward. Like I said, we are beginning to replace our boards one by one. Since the ministry started, we have never replaced anyone. Even when they go home, we leave the seats vacant. I felt too heavy. I found it too difficult to do that. I got too used to those people who have gone home to be with the Lord. That replacing them was like dishonoring them. I was too close to General Dogoyaro. He never spent one week without calling to find out where I was. Wherever I was all over the world. The same way I'm very attached to General uh, Y.Y. Kure who is still alive with us here. There is a soul covenant with all of my former and my living leaders. A personal attachment I have. So I find it difficult replacing them when a vacuum is created. It's part of my weaknesses. But this time God sounded the shofar and said next year is the opening of a new chapter for every one of us and for throne room ministries that I must replace them quickly within the first quarter so that the heavens can write a new thing for us and the altar can be complete. And that's why we are starting with the, we are starting with the, the governing board or the Board of Governors of the Apocalypsis Theological College. And today, I want to announce that Professor Ibrahim Sodengi Abbas is a new chairman of the governing board of the Apocalypsis Theologic College. Please, can you come forward? Let's put our hands together. He is a professor with CASU and he is presently the provost and coordinator of the CASU campus here in Kafanchan. He has been a member for many years and he was our, what will I call it, the rest, the pilgrim's rest station for all our missionaries each time they were going to Cameroon. They slept in his house in Meduguri when he was lecturing in Meduguri as a lecturer of the University of Meduguri before he came back home here. So he's been with us for a long time. He knows the in and the out, the strength and the weaknesses of the ministry. And he has done everything to keep the fire burning on the altar. We believe that through you and by the power of the Holy Ghost, the Lord will take us to the next level. Others have fought a good fight and they have gone home to rest. The baton is being handed over to you. Professor Helmina Fumilayo Akanya. She is not here. She is watching us um, by Zoom. She, 
Right now, she's doing her crossover in the United States of America along with her husband. The husband is a member of the board of trustees of this ministry, Dr. Ndanusa Akanya. The third member of the board is Professor Gimba Matthew Kolo. Can you please step forward? Professor Gimba Matthew Kolo is a professor in Futa, Federal University of Technology. Uh, is it Mina? You call it wherever they are, uh, Mina. And um, he has been a city coordinator. He has held several positions in this ministry. And today, they are coming to group together. Many of you have prayed that we become a university. Now, you are seeing the board that will start laying foundation for that university dream to take place. I thought you would clap your hands. How many of you have believed that the throne room will start a university in Southern Kaduna? Now, you are seeing the first champions. They are going to start affiliating what we have here. We will continue building around as we build the international library. There's going to be the biggest library in the northern part of Nigeria, not Minnesota, Nigeria. Right here on our camp. And these ones that I'm calling are going to be the, the pioneers and the visionaries who will make this happen. Number four is the founding provost of the Apocalypse Theological College or Institute, who now is the international coordinator in charge of programs, Apostle Gaya David Carey. Can you please come forward? And number five is a mother in Israel that has bettered so many things here along with her husband uh, in this ministry and labored and stayed on with us. And she was a very senior or principal librarian with University of Joss. And she's, she's been on the board in the last board and she's going to continue in this board. Mrs. Taiwo Duroti Oluwa Tomisi. Can you please come forward? Let's put our hands together. When you have a chief librarian in the board, then you should know that our library will be standard. Because we have professionals manning these places. Then we're going to have a senior lecturer. He retired as a senior lecturer, if not principal lecturer, with the College of Education. Our own Pastor Philip Nyam. Can you please come forward? Then we have one that is absent. They will swear him in. When he joins them in their meetings, Pastor Joshua Cardon. Many of us know of Joshua Cardon. He was a former national coordinator of Capro, Calvary Ministries, that was based in Jos. Now he is a retired freelance missionary, going wherever the Spirit leads him. And he was at a point the one who ran their school. So he has experience in schools, theological schools, particularly as it has to do with missions. He will be joining the board as a member of board. We have Elder Ja Gwom. Let's put our hands together for our elder. All these leaders I am calling are members of throne room who have been with us for quite a while. They are familiar with our terrain and they are ready to go to take us to the next level. I told you the button is being handed over by those who have gone before them. Then we have Mrs. Florence 
Suleiman. Can you please come forward? Go ahead and put your hands together for our beloved sister. These are people, when you say throne room, they will raise their hands up. And they are bringing their wealth of experience to protect the work of the Lord. Then we have representing the ministry, the international administrator. Every administrator of the ministry will be on the board. They will only be on the board while they are administrators. It's not a permanent position. They represent the ministry. Um, maybe we might make some of them permanent members uh, when the Holy Ghost visits us properly. But for now, as is the custom, Pastor Jonah Ambisa and because we are inaugurating the board, I will invite the provost of the school to join them. Where is our sister, the provost? Kim, can you come and help me here? You will take this just as you planned it and get if for them two, two copies. I'm not going to take too much time praying for them because they have not even started their work yet. When they start bringing good reports, we will bring them back here. And then when you start seeing us building our university buildings, then we can bring them here and say, what shall we say unto the Lord? All we have to say is thank you, Lord. Can you turn around and face me here? Professor Shedengi is the chairman of this board. I am authorizing the board to choose its secretary when you convene as you deem appropriate. And I'm instructing you that you follow the statutes that go with board meetings, the standard statutes that go with board meetings all over the world. Since we are working towards becoming a university, let's start with very high standards. So that when NUC visits us here, uh, they will know that we are ready. We are ready to take Southern Kaduna to the next level. I want to say this. A memorial will be written for you in heaven as pioneers who started something that became big around the world. Who knows? Some of you, many years to come, I say many years because you will have long life. After you are properly retired, you might become the first vice chancellors. After you have become vice chancellors in other countries, you come back here and become a vice chancellor again. We have them doing that. Professor Beike was vice chancellor somewhere. After he retired, he went back and became vice chancellor, pioneering vice chancellor. He has been vice chancellor up to three times or four times now until he said he is tired. All of you here, your promotions will come as when due until you say you are tired. I didn't hear the crowd say amen. amen. Where is Kim? What are you sitting there for? You will stand there neatly behind them. Can I have a copy of that, please? You are 50 something. So if your 50 something bones are beginning to weigh on you, you can go to your seat and sit. So those of us who are still young eagles can continue to fly. Now, like you can see, you will just, it says Board of Governors Oath of Office. You will read what you see here. You will put your names where there is an instant and then get ready to fill it and sign it and hand it over to me immediately and now. It won't go to your seat. That means after this oath taking, you become full board members 
and our school has resurrected already. We will enter into a new year with new eagles flying the flag of the Lord from the throne room. If you will, uh, Kim, when they finish, um, if you will, can you read concurrently along with me? Let's go ahead now. I, put your names, you must open your mouth wide. We need to hear you. I need to hear you. I, Accept to serve as a member of the Board of Governors of the Acalypsis Theological College. I pledge to work along with the other member governors and con contacts to help promote the college into a world-class reference theological college guided by the terms of reference of my appointment. I pledge also not to divulge any sensitive information on the college without obtaining proper permit from the relevant authorities. So help me God. Now that I have read this with you, can you raise your right hand and repeat it by yourself now as you make your pledge unto the Lord. One, two, go. Do you before God now submit to these terms? I want to hear a big yes, yes. or a big no. There is no no, so the yes have it. Can you go on your knees, please? Except for those of you who cannot kneel down due to health reasons. Can I have that oil? Can we rise up and stretch our hands? Because our university is gradually beginning, the dream will come to pass someday. But we need to establish this theological college and make it famous, and then we go to the next level. Father, today, by his stripes we are healed. In the name that is above every other name, the pioneering spirit of the church, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I infuse the life of Jesus into each of these bones. And by the power of his resurrection, by which God created everything, we release them to build and make a name for you, to raise a testament, to raise, O oh God, not just a theological college, but a university. Today, we unlock all the graces of God in your life. The power of his resurrection will speak for you. Ah, if any of you were going through any week, by the virtue of the life of this oil and the mark, you are released from that weakness. You are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, the Holy Spirit upon you and the Holy Spirit make you pregnant with many ideas and the power of the Holy Ghost make you fruitful in everything. Wherever you enter, the world will come after you to do you favor and to exalt you. I bless you with the blessing of the Lord. I bless you with all that you need to succeed. 
I invoke the Holy Spirit. And the angel that guided Moses through the wilderness to report for duty in your different homes. Let that captain of the host of heaven guide you through successfully. successfully. We shall not lose any of you. I decree long life in Jesus' name. Father, let your seal be upon them now. Let your spirit take all glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may rise, please. Amen. Now you may sign your papers or you can find a place, sign it and hand them over to Kim immediately. Congratulations to each one of you, madam. Congrats. Your prayers have been answered. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Yes, oh, just up the cross. soon, sooner than you expect. And things will start going very fast, non-stop until 12 midnight. I want to once more welcome everyone to tonight's meeting. I want to welcome our politicians. I can see some gubernatorial candidates here. Um, I saw messages from local government chairmen joining us. I don't know why the politicians like coming late. I hope those of you who are born again, you will stop that habit. Those who are not born again, they are always marking present, that's all. And my reasons are, when the rapture comes, remember the ten virgins, the five and the five. I won't explain more than that. Jesus will not wait on protocol. And I want us to copy that for our churches as well. Uh, like my former king, the late king, and today the new king has started so well. On his installation day, after he was installed, he came straight to throne room to the altar to say thank you, Jesus. And tonight, he was one of the first people to come here again today to give God thanks. I'm talking about the Ogwamba Jew. That is a proper way to start. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. So I want to welcome all our champions in government, both former and serving. I can see many of them here, including the former NNPC 
oga parpata md uh, and his wife and Ogwaju uh, is here with his wife everybody want to say welcome the board of trustees um, former minister for information there are quite a number of you i'm sure except if you came late you must have been introduced if you came late then know why you are not going to be introduced because it's too late we need to go on and usher the people into the new year but we are glad to have you. May the covenant of life follow every one of you in Jesus' name. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. All the pastors and bishops, all our elders and our tower leaders across the globe, the presidents that are watching us by television and presidential families that have decided to sit by their TVs tonight to be part of this meeting. We acknowledge you and we welcome every one of you to Kafan Chan, Kaduna State, Nigeria, West Africa. I want to welcome all the nations that are represented physically here. Every one of you, may the Lord bless every one of you. Now, listen. I told you that next year God is going to go into the deep looking for lost axes. The lost axe. Lost axes. Axes that have sunk. And there was no power in heaven or on earth that was able to raise them up again until the prophet came. These bitter waters you have seen these years, next year we clear them for you. God is going to go after lost axes. If you have lost your way, you have lost your destiny, God is going to repair that destiny for you. Look, God is going to recover you from every humiliation you have suffered. And he's going to pay you tenfold for that humiliation. Prisoners will be set free next year. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. People who have been suffering for towns for many years, tens of years of diverse sicknesses and disease, starting from tonight, I saw the Spirit of God go forth like He did in Egypt. And I saw Him tear down the veil of infirmity. And I saw the cross. Jesus Christ crying out. Who shall go for us? And I saw angels appear. Then I saw the Lord begin to form a government. I told you when we first started. Last year, God has set his government that will oversee his rule in all the nations of the earth. To let you know. I want you to stand up for a moment. Israel is starting the new year with a new president. People thought it was over for that president. President Netanyahu, Benjamin Netanyahu. When the president lost his elections, if some of you remember the comments I made over and over here, and in Abuja, I said his work was not over. And I told every one of us that the destiny of, Put, uh, of, of, of Netanyahu is connected to Putin. That as long as Putin is still making history and writing the history books, Netanyahu is coming to finish it. Their destinies are connected. They are supposed to fulfill different aspects of prophecy to pave way for the coming of the Messiah. And I told everybody it was not over. And they said no. Even in Israel, the Israelis says no. They said no. That he, he can never come back. Yesterday, he was sworn in. Along with his cabinet. A new face. The enemies of Israel are already trembling. 
They are not enjoying a new year. They are making meetings and alignments and alliances. Already China has booked an appointment to meet with Russia that they want to strengthen their bilateral things. They just finished war games earlier this year. And they are still holding presidential meetings. And I can sense in my spirit is because of the change of the balance of power. Let me tell you something. God is going to do a new thing in your own life. It will shake up the heavens and shake up the earth. That your enemies will have to realign for them to survive. Today, I release that power over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Note, everything Nigeria has lost, God is entering into the deep to do what? Recover it. The election is about recovery. I said the election is about recovery. God is going to recover back our strength, the lost acts. So there is hope in the coming year because we have seen that the Lord has... Oh my God. Can you raise your right hand? The first prayer tonight is, Lord, we stand with Israel and ask the Lord to stretch out his hand and hold the hand of the government in Israel. We invoke the heavens, all the nations of the earth on behalf of the church in the nations. We invoke the heavens to write a new thing for Israel and to send help to Netanyahu and his cabinet that they will fulfill ancient biblical prophecies, whether positive or negative, so that our Messiah might come back. Because there are human beings that have been ordained to unlock some deep places so that the Messiah might come. And they are, going, they are being put in their rightful places now. The same way you will be put in your rightful place to repair particular parts. There are many of you that God is going to find a place in in the coming government. In the coming administrations. From the highest presidency to the local government levels. Ah, there are local government chairmen who will not see the end of next year that their assistants will have to take over. A few others will have their own crisis and the whole of that government will be removed and a new government will be put in place. So next year is an interesting year. Today, I proclaim your resurrection. I proclaim your rising up. I command your chains to break away from you. Somebody shout, break, 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 break. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you thank God again for Netanyahu and a new day in Israel? Can you bless Israel? Father, bless Israel tonight and renew the covenant of protection from her enemies. The Bible says, blessed are those who bless Israel. And tonight, so that a remembrance can be put for us, we bless the Holy Land today. Thank you, Father. Now sit down. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. The key text, I mean the key scripture for Tonight, that will guide us in the coming year, is First Chronicles chapter 17. And I'm going to bring only three points or three and a half points. First Chronicles. Chapter 17, verse 10. <laughs> Praise the Lord for he is good and his mercy
saw the spirit of mercy flowing and floating from heaven. And the Lord began to give unto every family respite and open a doorway of escape. And I asked the Lord, is this only for the righteous? He said, no. Nigeria has come unto full cycle. And I will remember every home in this country. And I will set my cloud upon each house for good and for mercy. For good and for mercy. For good and for mercy. And you say, my father, settle in my own house. I enter into covenant with you. I draw your compassion into my life. I draw your compassion into my life, into my family. And I ask that you set the altar of mercy to bring complete restoration. By this covenant, I establish my rising and my going forth in Jesus' name. Can you wave to the Lord if you are here tonight and say amen? amen. Mercy will ensure that whatever has kept you down permanently is broken in the coming year. But I saw the Lord do what First Chronicles said. And since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people, Israel, and it puts a full stop. That full stop sounds like a foolish full stop. The sentence is not complete. Yet there is a full stop. God raised people who had the capacity to set them free to sit over their lives. Somebody who has the capacity to set you free is going to visit you in the coming year. No, 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 no. Put it. And since the time that I commanded judges, is a continuation of a story of, to, to be over my people, Israel, full stop. It does not make sense in English. You don't start a new verse like that. And then it goes on to make another sentence that is slightly different from that, but connected. This one verse is a key verse for tonight. And what does the next sentence say? Moreover, everybody read that. Uh -uh. Full stop. Point number one. The first duty I am doing tonight, before you step into 2020, is to set a government over your life. A government of judges that will ensure that justice is served to you. Southern Kaduna, justice is going to be served to you. A government of judges, angels, I'm going to prove that very soon. To ensure that justice is served. That is why whatever God is doing at the end of this year is to prepare for next year. Look at that, put it back. Number one, the first thing God is doing tonight, and we have already asked him to do that. We just crossed it now. Is that he's going to command judges over us to see that justice is served. Number two, the next thing he will start doing is that while you are going out of this place today, be following me, God will quickly go before you and start subduing the things that destroyed your destiny. Subduing them. Everything that has been irritating you will be subdued in the first quarter of next year. I didn't hear somebody say amen. Can you raise your right hand and say, I receive in the name of Jesus. That is number two. He says, moreover, this English in this particular verse does not make sense. None of them is completely complete. Yet they make sense. And yet they are connected. He said, moreover, I will subdue all thine enemies. 
Full stop. God does not owe anybody explanation. Then he goes on to say, furthermore, he started with and, continued with moreover. I think this is one English ing, ling, ling, linguist should study and try to see what makes sense there. He says, furthermore, in addition, I tell thee that the Lord will build every one of you a house next year. How many of you still understand English? That means God is going to grow wealth for you, grow vineyards for you. God is going to restore back your blossoming. He's going to restore back your peace. He's going to restore back your glory. He's going to restore back your fulfillment. said he would build houses. Build houses. Look, those of you who don't attend our meetings, you better start attending. You are missing. You don't know what you are missing. During the Rosh Hashanah, God spoke that he's going to establish a law that will make the church reign with him in this next season. Reign with him. Meaning, he's going to distribute positions, spheres of dominion, to the church. He's going to hand over banners and hand over mantles. And he said he will dig vineyards for us. Oh, God spoke a lot of things during Rosh Hashanah. And then we now came to Abuja, the prayer altar. How many of you were in that meeting in Abuja? God moved in such tremendous ways that night. Making proclamations. I don't know what came over me that evening. And I made an announcement. Within one week, there will be people here who will start fulfilling these prophecies. For God is going to send an angel, a messenger, before you to recover, to give you what you didn't ask for, what you are not expecting. Now, Saying one week is like committing suicide. One week is seven days. How can it happen? And tonight in my prayer room while I was praying, I saw a text and a testimony from Mrs. Muazu, who is a widow, who labored and by favor sent her children to school, who has been a member of this family for... For a long time, I mean, throne room. She was a pioneer tower pastor for Kotangura. Her husband is one of the majors that died in those majors aircraft that had the accident in, in, in Calabar area, at the Katu Range area. She's been a widow since then, but she has never missed any pattern of the Lord here. No, she was not homeless. The husband left them one inheritance. She was there that week. She left that meeting and the next day she had visitors. I don't know that she shared that thing tonight because I came after all the testimonies were completed. But she had visitors. And they took her on a tour of a house. And they gave her the keys to that house. It's not government grant. She never prayed for it. Messengers came that she was not expecting. You will be the next one to be visited. That is the kind of miracle I saw in heaven. I repeat, that is the kind of miracle I saw recurring. Now, let me give another prophecy. That in the first month of the first year, there are three people here. That that which you had forgotten for many years, crowns you had given up, the crowns will visit you at home. 
you will recover that which you lost. I release the power of God to set you up now. I say set you up now. In the name of Jesus. Somebody wave and shout hallelujah. But the process is that God is first of all setting a government. Oh, there are many testimonies. I don't want to get to the testimonies. We are carried away. Our time does not permit for that. Look, it is the testimonies that keep me alive. They are the ones that remove my eyes from the gloom. From all the neg negativism. At least we can see the Lord against the hand of man. Visiting his children, even in unfriendly environments. What else can you ask from the Lord? I said I was going to begin to throw some things about the prophets, about the elections. Listen, God is setting a government. And I'll become clearer at the stadium. So, Southern Kaduna people, make sure you invite everybody to the stadium January 14th. Bring everybody. Let us pray together. Let's receive our directions. And I want to say congratulations to all our brethren Kaduna who, in the midst of these contradictions, have been bold enough to report for duty. Is the highest quality of people running for position.